Hey everybody, Last Outrider here. <clears throat> I'm bringing you another part of Rogue Trader Space Marines. This is because I've gotten a lot of questions about the last part of what I said about Space Marines. So I'm going to answer these questions by reading this quote directly from Rogue Trader. Within the silent halls of the stone that constitutes their vast monastic fortresses, the Adeptus Ashtarte, known to normal men as angels of death, study the arcane arts of physical and mental fortitude. Like medieval monks, they read and reread their sacred scriptures, memorizing the sayings of the emperor and chanting timeless liturgies to the warrior's catechism of worship. From the, I'm sorry, warrior's catechism of worship. Cunning tests of physical and mental endurance are undertaken by young initiates, whilst older brethren practice the skills honed during a lifetime of fighting. Many embark upon training in special disciplines, studying arcane levels of philosophy and researching into the history and psychology and physiology of alien creatures. Renowned amongst these learned brethren are the doctors and surgeons of the Apothecarion. The Marines equivalent of a hospital built inside their fortress. As Marines are frequently hurt in battle, it is essential that good medical care is available. So the Apothecarion is a very important part of the Chapter Monastery's base. Similarly, the Chief Physician, the Master of the Apothecarion, is a very important person and is considered to hold a rank equal to the Masters of the Forge and Ships. He would be answerable only to the Master of the Chapter himself. In times of war, those brethren trained in the healing arts assume the vital role of field medics, in which capacity they are able to both save lives and sometimes to administer a painless death to brethren beyond their help. That should give you an idea of the questions that I was dealing with. There is no gene seed in Rogue Trader. No Primarchs, no Legions Astarte, and then no, no Codex Astarte, none of that. They began as a thousand chapters. Those thousand chapters were known as the Legions Astarte. Now, if you want to go back to the question of founding chapters, then I'm, I'm, I'm sorry to disappoint you again. But I'm not going to argue about it. I'm simply going to read to you. Here we go. La, 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 la. Ah, here it is. The chart below summarizes the main color, banner, and badge for 11 Space Marine chapters. As there are a thousand such chapters in the Imperium, it would be futile trying to list them all so gamers should feel free to invent their own. Okay? They then list 11 chapters. These 11 chapters then became known as the founding chapters or the main examples of Space Marine chapters in 40K. You may be surprised what these chapters are. For all of you who think you know what the founding legions or chapters were, these are the real first ones. Blood Angels, Blood Drinkers, Crimson Fists, Dark Angels, Flesh Eaters, Iron Hands, Rainbow Warriors, Silver Skulls, Space Wolves, Ultramarines, and white scars. That's it. Those are the first 11 Space Marine chapters that we know of. The rest, now that's just the examples that they gave. 
as they said, there are a thousand and they don't really tell you here. Oh, I'm just going to read it to you again. Each of the thousand chapters has its own history, rituals, and traditions. Many have been in existence since the age of Imperium began, and their names associated with legendary battles and heroic deeds. You hear that? We don't know how many of the thousand chapters were around when the uh, Imperium began. They said many were, so there could be 500. If there's many, let's say there's... Uh, more than 50%, that would mean 500 chapters were around. Uh, there was no Great Crusade. That didn't happen either in Rogue Trader. None of that is in Rogue Trader. I'm telling you what's in Rogue Trader. The things you never actually thought was there. But let me finish reading this then. <clears throat> Let's see. Each chapter has its own banners, and some chapters even take them into battle. Although this is becoming less common. Chapter leaders frequently have their own banners, especially if they come from worlds where such things are usual, and these are two, and two may be carried into battle. Individual chapter commanders are free to organize or augment their regular troops in any way they see fit. And a variety of musical instruments may be brought into the fray, yes, Musician Marines. Ponder it. Basically, that comes from the fact that this was Rogue Trader was very closely tied to fantasy battle. So you usually had a champion, a minor champion, or a major champion, a musician, and a standard bearer as upgrades to a unit. That includes musicians. So, musical space marines. Ponder it. Until next time, bye! <laughs>